Hello and welcome to RTD Inc. And in today's version, instead of actually showing stuff what's going on in Afghanistan like I've done a few times, we're going to talk about something local. And the local topic today is Kyle Rittenhouse. There's been a lot of speculation out there, people saying that he's innocent and he did everything in self-defense and others that believe he actually did it premeditated and it was murder. I am actually one of those who believes that it was premeditated and murder and his mother should also be brought up on charges as well because, and I'll get into that and explain that in a bit here. Why I believe Kyle Rittenhouse is basically guilty of murder is because, okay, when this happened, he was 17 years old and he had an illegal assault rifle on him that he borrowed from somebody. And his excuse was he's going there to do CPR. Well, I don't see any fire trucks or EMTs going to be first responders carrying assault rifles incoming from other states, nonetheless. And like I said, Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty. I believe this because the simple fact that he, he he actually took an assault rifle with him illegally. I mean, come on. Everyone knows that there's a age limit on guns. And I do believe it's like 21 years of age for like pistols and stuff like that. And I think it's 18. Might be old. I'm not exactly positive about that for shotguns and rifles. But we're talking about a 17-year-old kid borrowing a illegal assault rifle from from our, from all the information I've gathered from his trials so like that from a person he knew. Now, okay, he's talking about how he he's going there to do first aid. He also got his bulletproof vest that he loaned to his friend from from uh, the police force that he was supposedly volunteering for. And well, I'm actually show you guys a little bit of a clip of uh, him crying. And I want you guys to pay very careful attention to well, very the end of it when he, when he is almost done crying before you see his demeanor change from being a crybaby to almost instantly having a photographic memory of everything that went on. And that's the other thing that's in question. But first, I'm going to show you this video and we'll be right back. My plan is to get out of that situation and go back north down Sheridan Road to where... Um, the car source lot number two was. And did you get back? Were you able to go in a northerly direction? I, I wasn't. Describe what happened. I, once I take that step back, I look over my shoulder and Mr. Rosenbaum, Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side. Um, and. I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski and there were <laughs> there were three people right there. take a break uh, about uh, 10 minutes and please don't talk about the case during the break what read watch or listen to any kind of trap and did you guys notice that when he was crying he, he well, pretend crying should I say that he looked over at the jury to see if they were actually buying what he was doing. I mean, come on, really? I mean, if you're really remorseful and you're really sorry and you're really crying about something like that, are you really going to look over at the jury to see if they're buying your bullshit? And then there's also the judge in question, which is also another topic, but 
let's stick on Kyle Rittenhouse for now. Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty. He was a 17-year-old kid, and a 17-year-old kid should know automatically that weapons are age-restricted. And if you're underage, you shouldn't be carrying a weapon on you at all. It's like going to a store and trying to buy alcohol when you're 17 and the, 20, the age is 21. It's not supposed to happen. So I think he purposely went there with intent to cause harm at a Black Rights Rally, uh, Black Right, Black Lives Matter, sorry, rally. And I do believe that he should feel, fully feel the extent of the law as he goes to prison for two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. And if they wanted to play ruthless on him, let's just make it so it's premeditated because we all know he planned to go there. I mean, after all, how did he get there in the first place? He didn't drive a car there. He was driven by his mother. This is the second topic we're talking about. His mother now. His mother should be tried for accessory to murder as well because she saw her 17-year-old kid get into her car as she drove him across state lines carrying an assault rifle and did not say anything about it. Did not stop him. Did not say, yeah, well, I'm not going to drive you there with that thing. She actually drove him there. That makes her an accessory to murder. Why she's walking around free and crying about her son committing murder is beyond me. She should be up for charges as well because she is an accessory to murder because she drove him there. Our third point for today is if you watch the jury, you see how, how uh, prejudi prejudicial that judge is. I mean, the prosecution is trying to make their case and he is basically just riding their ass. But when the defense does exact same uh, tactics as the, uh, the prosecution does, he lets it ride. Makes you wonder what's wrong with this judge. I mean, I think it's more than just prejudice when it comes to this judge. I actually do believe that this judge is a, tr a heavy Trump supporter. And since basically Trump did praise Kyle Rittenhouse, the judge is going to let him walk. That would be the biggest injustice that we've ever faced among other major injustices we've faced because of stupid Republicans. Yes, I did say it, stupid Republicans. Because we all know this judge is Republican, and that's the only reason that's going to save Kyle Rittenhouse from going to prison. So I actually hope the jury, because the judge can't overrule jury, I hope the jury finds Kyle Rittenhouse guilty of two accounts of premeditated murder and one account of premeditated attempted murder and then recommends that his mother be brought up on charges as well because she is an accessory to murder because she drove him there. But on this topic, I am open to everyone who wants to comment on my uh, on my broadcast here because it's open forum. So if you think that he's innocent, please plead your case with me and let me know why you believe this. And I will review the evidence that I'm getting from the videos and see if anything you say is plausible. And if it is, I will admit that it's plausible. <laughs> but if it is not, I will also I'll let you know that the evidence proves you wrong. So like I said, if you like my broadcast, please comment because comments are always welcome. Like what I what, hit that like button and subscribe button and let me know that you want to see my ugly face and hear my freaky voice more. <laughs> yeah, I'm human to say what else, but let's put it this way. In this case, Kyle Rittenhouse needs to be free, needs to serve time for what he did. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful, e a wonderful evening. Bye.